Hello everyone, my name is Haikal bin Abdullah, student ID 2020469226. Hello there, my name is Muhammad Fakro Fazli Berusni, student ID 2020472138. Hello, my name is Muhammad Ismail Berzabizan and I'm from class B2 and I'm going to present you the slide of for Mat.83 and let's say it about myself. So, Hello everyone, so basically our group has been given a task on a topic of application of a differentiation. First and foremost, I would like to bring the definition of differentiation itself. Differentiation is a process of finding a function that output the rate of change on, of one variable with respect to another variable. In simple words, it can be interpreted as a process of differentiating a function with respect to a variable, meaning that we are finding the derivative of function with respect to x in order to measure the change in variable with respect to unit change in another variable. <coughs> you might be wondering, what are the application of differentiation in our real life, right? Can we use it to solve our real problems? The answer is definitely yes. Differentiation is, a, is applied mostly our, in our real life problems. For instances, in economy section, we use differentiation to calculate the profit and loss by applying growth method with considering the rate of increasing or decreasing cost and product. <coughs> in terms of chemistry, we use differentiation to determine the rate of concentration in chemical kinetics for example to determine the rate of law the chemical equation while in navigation and transport we use differentiation to determine the speed of the speed or distance of an object per unit time with this we can calculate the rate of acceleration of the speed in the particular object <coughs> Last but not least, differentiation can also be applied in biology, for example, in agriculture and plantation industry, we use differentiation to determine the rate of birth, death infant, mortality in plant, in plant and also this will provide an overview and prediction of the species to actually reproduce and benefit the outcome later. Therefore, we have discussed a lot of application in our real life problems and how do we apply them in our daily use. Next, our discussion will be continued on the next part on how do we solve on one particular question using differentiation. Let's go! Hello there. So the problem statement is a seven foot ladder leans against a wall. The base of the ladder slide horizontally away from the wall at five feet per second after the cat run toward it. As a result, the top of the ladder moves down the wall. So the question is how fast is the top of the ladder sliding down the wall when the bottom of the ladder is eight feet away from the wall? So, just as with any other example we could look at, we will quickly see that we need to be able to construct equation that represent the scenario. Looking at the diagram, we have a ladder with a constant length of 17 feet 
and then this value are the variable x and the variable y as they both change over time so guys what do you think about it what does it represent in our main equation and then that's right it would represent a right triangle with a known hypotenuse and the two layers of unknown which is x and y now we can relate the variable by the Pythagorean theorem which is x square plus y square equal to 17 or equal to 289 because 17 square is equal to 289 now as we say we want to know how this parameter changes over time so let's differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to time the derivative of x with respect to time will be 2x times dx over dt for y we get the same thing 2y times dx over dt we using the chain rule to get this derivativity on the right the derivative of any constant will be 0 so that's make it 0 now we want to know about how fast the ladder is sliding down the wall which is described by dy over dt so let's solve for dy over dt first we need to take all the term with all x to the other side and then we divide it by 2y and we get dy over dt equal to negative x over y times dx over dt then we need to plug in all information that we know and solve for it we are asking about dy over dt when the ladder is 8 feet away from the wall so we plug in 8 into the equation then by using Pythagorean theorem we can solve for y at any instant so that's mean the value of y is 15 so we plug in y which is 15 into the equation we can also plug in dx over dt because we say that the ladder was sliding down away from the wall at 5 feet per second that means s is increasing so dx over dt is positive 5 and finally we will get the answer dy over dt is equal to negative 8 over 3 feet per second so this is a negative value because y is decreasing at this rate at this instant so thank you guys Thank you so much for this present. I'm going to present you a solution to this question. It looks hard, but let's go through it. Okay, so in a simple physical apparatus, the distance between x, uh, cm, and y, cm are dated by the equation 1, one over x over x plus 1 over y equals to 1 over 5. If y is increasing at a rate of 16 cm per minute, calculate the rate at which x is changing when x is 15 cm. Okay, that sounds quite uh, different from what we learned in differentiation, but it's so it's simple and I can teach you how to uh, tackle the question. Okay, so. First of all, you need to know the equation first. Okay, in this um, question, we all know that 1 over x plus 1 over y equals 1 over 5. So, we know that we also have dy dt, which is 16 centimeter per minute. Okay, and then the equation that we want to, the, the value that we want to search, uh, that we want to look for is dx dt. So, the equation will be like this dx dt plus, uh, equals to dx dy multiplied by dy dt okay so 
in order to get the the answer you need to uh, find uh, you need to change the equation a little bit to for the um, substitution for dy dx value so here we got 1 over y equals to 1 over 5 minus 1 over x okay after that you need to differentiate uh, you need to make the implicit differentiation which is like this the x equals to you need to differentiate everything so what you got is negative 1 over x power of 2 plus dy dx negative 1 over y power of 2 equals to 0 why 0? because dy dx when it comes to a value it becomes 0 so it cannot be differentiated so we need to search for dy dx and then take one or take negative one over x power of two to the right and then exchange and then bring the y to the other side and then go like this for dy dx. Okay, just want to make sure the equation that we want to search um, that we have planned is the x dy so we need to invert the equation and it will become like this x power of 2 negative for x power of 2 over y power of 2 so we just have to um, substitute the equation that we get and divide it in 16 centimeters so just have to make insert it in to the formula and then okay for okay, this is when people make mistake okay they forgot that y over y equals to 1 over 5 minus 1 over x so make sure that you have to separate 1 over y from x over 2 x power of 2 so and what we get here and so we if this we need to sub, uh, st substitute the x with 15 and then we got negative 64 centimeter per minute that's so simple so hope you try it bye